Hi everyone. I thought I'd have another go at doing this. I've done this about four times now. The first one was too dark and then this morning part way through the sound keeps going so I'm not sure. I'm hoping that this is the last one I need to do today. Um, it's just to show you a little project I've been working on. I saw a video of a mosaic that Live Art Now did and I absolutely loved it and I thought I'd like to have a go. Then Why White 22 on YouTube also had seen that and thought she'd like to have a go as well. So we decided between us we'd both have a little attempt at it. Put our own spin on it because we've both done quite different things and they're both very different to Linda's original. I'll put the links to all of them below. Um, and this is just to show you a bit about mine and what I did. I started off with some really thick chipboard. This is not as thick as what I used. And to that, I just stuck down paper. And once it was dried and set, I cut out the bits that I wanted. And I've covered them in vintage photo. And this is what I ended up with, was pieces like this. And this one you can see is shiny. That's because I glossy accented some. And on most of them, rather than use glossy accents because it was expensive, I used realistic water. More expensive than glossy accents, but it's the size of the bottle. Um, this is, I've only used that much in months. So it's really good stuff. But it isn't as dimensional as the glossy accents. So I'll just show you what I actually did on here. I covered a piece of game board originally to make the baseboard and it was part of this one here. I then covered the back and painted the front and the edges in black and let that dry well before I start to stick anything to it. So you can see, covered the back in paper. And then on here, these are all the little separate pieces of chipboard that I cut out and I did some in different shapes and what not. These are actual old postage stamps. They're all on here for a reason. They all mean something to the family. Um, this key has got some crackle glaze on it. This is because my son was 18 last month. I worked for a company that dealt with Jaros, which is why that's there. And it's a family favourite film. We all used to go and see Harry Potter together. I met my husband when he was working on the buses. And so on and so forth. Um, holiday destination there. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. After covering all my pieces of paper and inking them up, I covered them with the realistic water and then I laid them on the card and decided where I wanted to put them and uh, left little gaps. So in some of the gaps I have put a piece of chain, tiny pieces of chain, there's little tiny beads on that one actually. There's a bead there, there's a plastic thimble, some more chain, a safety pin, some chain going along there. There's some tube beads and black tube beads and little gold seed beads in that space. That came off a piece of broken jewellery. It's just like the cabbage on piece. It's quite sparkly actually, which yeah, you can just about pick that up. Another bead, more seed beads, more chain. B, that little bee is there because we had a um, bee's nest in the front garden for the longest of times. And a clock, which is just a charm like the bird charm down here which I covered with blue and turquoise sea beads and that's another piece of broken jewellery as well that there is actually it has got something on it it's a piece of um it's like a plastic bling but in black and then there's a button here which I covered well sorry we'd already covered in material but it's got little bits of fake stitching on it now and a leaf which came in a rack to me so that's the main and you can see the chipboard on the front is almost as thick as that on the back. Then this heart is covered, it's a piece, the piece of chipboard heart I should say, and it's covered with a napkin that's got um, the Eiffel Tower on it. You can't really see much of the Eiffel Tower but you can see it's like the bottom arch there and it goes up here but you can see it's off the napkin at that point. And I'd edged that in white and then in black and then glossy accented it but if you can see it's quite rough. I distressed it quite a lot and I let some glossy accents, I put it not all over but partially over, let it partially set and then started using a paintbrush to rub it all in to give that effect. 
So that was my mosaic take on Libart Now's video. And like I said, I will put the video link below and I'll put Why White 22's link below to the one that she did as well. And I know lots of others have done it, but I haven't seen them all and I don't remember all the video links, but I'll put any of that I find. And then I thought this week, I didn't do a Friday challenge yesterday because this didn't record when I expected it to. So, and when I did, it was really dark. So I've tried it again, like I said, and I've decided that this week's Friday challenge will be to make a small one of these. If we do a six by four, you could then use that as a little album cover for if you're making any albums. And I think something like this could look terrific on that. And the six by four is literally like a quarter of the size of this. So in theory, it shouldn't take so long to do, but because it does take a while, because you're waiting for glossy accents to dry and you may be waiting for paint to dry, etc. I'm going to give you two weeks to get this together. And I thought on the UK and Ireland Craft Swaps group, we could use this for our Friday challenge. So I'll put the link to the group below and a link to the challenge below once I've put it up. And if you'd like to come along and have a go, we'd love to see you. And your use obviously your take. You don't have to use any of the colours or the ideas I've used. Do whatever you want to do. But you need to make at least half of the 6x4 needs to be in little art tiles that you've made for yourself. Because I think it's really important that you see how good it can be rather than just use things you've got out of a packet and stick on we can all do that and as much as i'd love to be able to do that i can't afford to but anyway i'd love to see what everybody else comes up with and i will catch you all later thanks for watching bye bye